Yo, what's up, everyone? This is Kai here, back again with a new episode of Epic Seven Video. Today, I'm going to showcase Bad Cat Armin, the newest ML Four Star Hero in PVP uh, preseason casual Bronze League, I believe. I, I think this unit is very cute, so let's just jump right into it. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe if you find today's video interesting. And Bad Cat Armor, right? I really like the art, uh, really cute uh, uh, of all the design. But unfortunately, her kit is very average, but somewhat unique as well. So when you look at this uh, kit, right? So basically, she's a warrior, uh, can be built very tanky, can do some damage. But keep in mind that I don't think the damage build is the optimal for her because I don't think her damage potential is high. So S3 is like a drop a bomb or something, right? Single target attack uh, based on max HP, nothing special, just an attack and self buff speed and give a barrier to all allies. Like a, the barrier is not that big either, uh, I find it. And uh, S1 is nothing crazy as well. It's like AOE attack and injury potential. It doesn't do a lot of damage and uh, S2 right is where things get interesting so basically after you get attacked you have a chance to proc a counter attack on one of your ally like the front most ally and give that person critical hit damage buff so this can be very interesting if you pair up with like a belly in or avatar Vildre or even S Nibria right you put your DPS in the front most position and uh, when Armin got attacked and he has a chance to proc uh, a counter attack right and give critical hit damage buff at the same time so that's very interesting it, that's mainly like her unique part right right now i don't think her kid is very overpowered because even though she can give dual attack right sorry counter attack uh, it's not that overpowered if one of your DPS gets a turn not to mention that we're still in a very fast meta uh, like relying on counter attack is not always ideal and we have uh, Lionheart Sermia to punish all the counter attack mechanism yeah so I have mine built on a you know tanky build speedy tanky build at 233 speed because her base speed is actually very fast uh, and uh, she has like a self speed buff so I'm just using this uh, and with some crit chance to do some okay damage I feel like you just want like pure tankiness right? build her as a tank right, to help your uh, Estenibria to survive or something and yeah and I put her on champion trophy I think honestly this is the best artifact for her and it's the best artifact for the best hero, right? For champion trophy. Because Armin S1 is AoE attack, and you have a chance to proc uh, this champion trophy to get a stun uh, on the opponent, uh, so it's, which is really nice. So I'm using the champion trophy. Uh, yeah, uh, overall, I think she's more of a fun hero to use, right? Uh, so let's just jump into the RTA montage. Let's go. Okay, for our first fight, we're against limited zero in uh, placement match. First pick AOL, I uh, answer with the uh, uh, Stanny common combo, right? Because I want to play with the uh, Stanny getting the dual attack, getting the counter attack and the critical hit damage buff. So basically, Stanny is my frontmost DPS here. So it looks like he's going with like a pseudo cleave control drop so here we're gonna pick a, a you know some damage right avatar vildre and Taylor try to outspeed i mean it's pre-season so it doesn't matter what you pick here as long as you're having fun and uh, fire suri interesting going for the speed contesting and uh, Ciceria. So I'm not gonna ban the fire series. I'm gonna go with the two here as my secondary DPS to put in the front. Okay, Pedra got banned out. 
So I put two in the front because you know, uh, this is a very interesting combo. You can potentially S1 into a whoosh, right? S2, uh, which is uh, very interesting. Let's see if we proc anything here, right? Proc the counter, please. My two is on a counter and tanky set. Okay, innate on. Okay, okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter though. Uh, it's invincible. So we want to S3 here because we don't want to proc the angel line. Uh, self skill nullifier. Okay, decent damage. And here we sober, right? Just wipe the board. Okay, at, at this point it's over, I think. But as you can see here, like, I should proc uh, that counter attack and got a critical hit damage mark. So it can be spicy in some situations, but it's not doing anything here, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, this one should be a real fight. Uh, still, uh, pre band the belly and then try to take away the standing. So, Rimuzu first thing, very strong. And uh, standing FCC, right? Very standard. Because Conquer Lilius got banned now, otherwise I will go Conquer Lilius and Stanley. So who is he gonna pick? Milam, Angel of Life. Okay, we're still gonna go with the common, right? Azov and the common combo. So in this case, we can either put Azov in the front or put Stanley in the front. Uh, try to get a counter attack going. Laika, okay. And Hua Yang, okay. Level 50 Hua Yang, though, is a little bit sus. But it's okay, you know. We're gonna pick this well in the end, right? Ban out the Angel of Light because uh, just like a hard CC to me. But I think we can out tank the opponent. Like, I don't care about level 50 Hua Yang. So put a Ravi in the front. So basically, uh, we are looking for a Ravi counter attack, right? And also, a Ravi not gonna get one shot. If a Ravi get one shot by Hua Yang and Rimuru, we still have a uh, well to revive. So level fifty Hua Yang super fast, right? How much damage can she do? Like she does a lot of damage. Okay, send a kick. Let's see, why is he waiting? Okay. Oh, big damage on FCC. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, level 50. Uh, okay, we, we're gonna get the S3 going with the barrier and the uh, self speed bar. Alright, and even we're gonna cut. Steal away the speed bar. Wait, he has some anti magic mass, right? 9,000 HP, full damage Rimuru. Is he gonna kill the Zuel? Oh, half health Zuel. So we are in some troubles. If he sleep us here, it's gonna be problematic. Not going for the sleep. Oh, okay. So we have to take away the Lyca, right? Because the Lyca is going to have sleep next turn. So at, at this point, I think we won already because, you know, all the skills are used, right? And we well are still alive. So uh, just heal back, right? Retaliate. As you can see, that common doesn't do a lot here, right? Just standing me shield. And if the opponent doesn't have any AOE, and it kind of feels bad because, like, he's picking single target damage, right? And uh, is he gonna go on to the? Uh, okay, never mind. So champion trophy. Okay, let's go get the star. <laughs> Yo, you see the champion trophy is a play because I'm the S one is an AOE, right? You want to proc that champion trophy to get a stun going, a huge stun. Right, twenty percent chance not bad, right? It's like a abyssal crown chance. 
Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's over. Oh, we can see one more kick here. Wait, she cycles so fast and she has S3 again already. Holy, this unit is not balanced though, the Huayang. Okay, for our last fight, we finally got Stanny in the front. Can we proc some critical hit damage Stanny S1? Let's see, right? So Para is AoE. So please proc here. Oh, nice. Okay. But unfortunately, we got buff block, so we don't have critical hit damage buff. But Dilibet is going to cleanse away all these debuffs. Right? And then hopefully we can get some uh, more damage uh, onto the team, right? Ooh, okay. So I'm I'm gonna just you know I don't know. As you can see, armor feels so bad, right? It's like she doesn't do a lot of things here other than just being there. Right, the damage is not that high. Probably I'm not going for damage build, but uh, I don't think you need to build her on damage because you know there are too many things counter her, right? Even LQC, right? She's a dark target, and she's more like a fun hero into AOE type of hero. So, well, Armor is dead. Right, but it's okay. We can have it well revive the Armor. So here we try to stun up the Lilius. And uh, the well gonna revive the armor. Okay, so give armor another chance to proc the counter attack. Probably I need to mola the rest of the S2 because like right now it's not 40%. Like after you max mola is 40%, right now I'm sitting at 35%. See the 5% dual attack chance is even higher than the counter attack chance. And he's not hitting the armor, so it feels bad. Okay. Stun? No stun. Okay. So do we burn? No, right? We wait for the buff to go away. And then the Violet has like a chance to fly into the... Okay, we got a counter, see? Uh, fly into the Stanny. Didn't fly into the Stanny, okay. And it's tough for her, him now, right? Because we can, you know, protect the well. Yeah. The problem with uh, E7 these days is like a balanced unit like Armin feels bad because, you know, all the other heroes are too overpowered. Okay, we got another counter. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Right? Armin is balanced, but she feels like luster in today's meta. And S3 and S1 should do something more other than just like damage. Anyway, that's all the time I have for you guys today for today's short Armin RTA video. And I will see you guys in my next one.